All right, I'm here with Jason, and we are debuting the 112 dash control on the 996 Porsche with the brand new Pro 112 ECU. Jason, why don't you go ahead and show us some of the dash controls that the 112 enables us to use with the Porsche 996. All right, well, first of all, we're controlling the check engine lights and all that stuff so you don't get any lights. We're also controlling the tack, coolant gauge, and some other things like that. A um, couple of really cool features because this car is can based with cruise control. We've got all that stuff implemented so you maintain your cruise control, you maintain all of the functionality you need, your stability management control still works, you can turn that on or off, our traction control works with it, those types of things all remain intact. Um, when you're pushing the brake pedal in and you're not during using cruise control, if you hit the button in, it'll indicate where your iBoost setting is. So see, you can see it's right now it's iBoost 2, and if you look at the tack, maybe turn the light on, make it a little easier to see. So it goes to 2, so if I hold that in, it jumps to 3. And if I hold it in again, it goes to 4. Hold it in again, it goes to 5. And again, it starts back over. So you can change your iBoost settings through the cruise control. You don't need to go into the display settings, and you don't need a, a separate knob. Now, if you want to change in your display settings or with a separate iBoost knob, that will become your base. So if you set this to 3, then you only get 4 and 5 changing it through the cruise control, and that will reset to 3 and keep going up. Okay, so that's how that works. All right, the other thing that you can do is you can indicate what your current RPM limiter is set to. If you see in the dash now, mine just went to 7,500. Okay, if I push the clutch in, my two-step drive off is 1800. As I give it more throttle, I can raise that RPM automatically based on throttle angle. Okay, another cool feature is uh, scramble boost, which if you're at full throttle and you push the set Excel button, it'll jump up an additional uh, boost amount for a programmed in amount of time. I'll show you that, but we'll do that with the engine off. Okay, so now I'm at full throttle, and you'll if you watch the boost control set point here, See how it went to 14, it's staying at 14, and then it drops back down to 11. So if I hit it again, I'll go into scramble boost mode again. Pretty handy for road racing and stuff like that. Drag racing, don't really use that anymore. But road racing, if you want to just pass and you don't want to be running full booster on the track, it's handy for that kind of stuff. So those are the main things right there. All right, so as you can see, for all you 996 lovers, this is why we're super excited to get this ECU out to you. We've implemented a lot of cool features that... Pretty much no other ECU is capable of at the moment, so we're excited to hear your feedback.